Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial. Now this will be the last video of the intermediate section. Uh, we have covered a bunch of other things such as web penetration testing, system hacking, man in the middle attacks, uh, wireless network attacks uh, and bunch of these things that you need to know in order to be able to call yourself an intermediate hacker. Now that is just a part of it. Now, of course uh, you will need lots and lots of practice of all of these methods on different types of targets and everywhere you basically can you need to practice them since practice makes perfect and in the next section we will finally enter our coding section we will cover a little bit of python and c i will give you a small crash course on both of these programming languages now you shouldn't really expect it to uh, fully understand it from that crash course since this will be short I will only explain a few things if you want to be able to fully uh, follow that you might want to search additional videos here and there for Python and C uh, and but if you already know some of these programming languages or basically any other programming language it will be easy for you un to understand this yeah uh, we will be coding as I said our advanced backdoor uh, in Python uh, we will try to replicate some of the uh, some of the options that, for example, Meterpreter shell has, such as screenshotting, keylogger, then coping files, persistence, so we can actually enter the machine whenever we want after the reboot shutdown and all of that things. We can upload, download files, and all of that interesting stuff. Now, as I said, you will need to. Uh, know these languages in order to be able to follow this better. The crash course will cover some of the basics such as some uh, some of the simple Python programs, some of the simple Python modules, C programs and so on and so on. And after that we will actually start the coding of our backdoor and our other programs that we need. So that would be about it for this section. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned a lot from it. Make sure to practice it as much as you can and I hope I see you in the next section. Bye!